In today's video, we're going to be discussing the differences between wild-caught salmon and farm-raised salmon. Whether or not there really is a big difference between the two, and if it's worth splurging on wild-caught salmon or not. Salmon is often referred to as a superfood, and for good reason. It is one of the best sources of bioavailable omega-3, an essential nutrient that reduces inflammation in the body. The skin is rich in collagen, which can boost the health of our own skin, hair, nails, and joints. It is also rich in astaxanthin, an antioxidant that prevents cell damage and improves immune function. And these are just a few of the amazing benefits. But is all salmon created equal? Is wild-caught salmon really that much better than farmed salmon? We're gonna answer these questions and more in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook where I share new posts every single day. Today's video is sponsored by Butcher Crowd. Butcher Crowd is a meat delivery service that delivers 100% grass fed and pasture raised meat and now wild caught salmon across Australia. They have a wide range of boxes to choose from, and they also offer the option to build your own. And one of the products you can add to your box is wild caught sockeye salmon. I will tell you a bit more about Butcher Crowd later in the video, but if you want to check them out right now, you can head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash butcher crowd. We're going to start off today defining the difference between farm raised salmon and wild caught salmon. Then we will get into the differences in terms of nutrition when it comes to the two, and we'll finish off talking about how to know if the salmon you are buying and eating is good quality or not. Wild caught versus farmed salmon. Now it might seem obvious the difference between wild caught salmon and farm raised salmon, but sometimes marketing can actually make it pretty tricky to tell the difference between the two. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Wild caught salmon is caught from oceans and rivers where salmon naturally live. Farmed salmon is bred and raised in fish farms. Over half of the salmon sold worldwide is farmed salmon. And these two types of salmon eat drastically different diets. Wild caught eat algae, crustaceans, plankton, and smaller fish. Farmed salmon are fed feed that is usually a mix of ground up fish, corn, and soy. This feed is formulated to make the fish grow faster and larger. Nutrition compared. Okay, so wild and farmed eat different diets, but what does this mean for the nutritional value? As previously mentioned, one of the reasons that salmon is so praised is for its omega-3 content. Omega-3 is a fatty acid that is anti-inflammatory, and its counter-nutrient is omega-6. Omega-6 is inflammatory, which isn't necessarily a bad thing unless we eat it in large amounts. And let me tell you, most people nowadays are consuming it in huge amounts without even realizing. The top source of omega-6 in modern diets is vegetable oil, and vegetable oil is hidden in everything. In the United States, omega-6 consumption has more than tripled in the last decade, leading to people experiencing more inflammation and as a result suffering from more inflammatory diseases. But anyways, back to salmon. Farmed salmon has three times the amount of omega-6 that wild salmon does. So if you are trying to reap the anti-inflammatory benefits by eating salmon, eating farmed salmon might be working against that. The reason farm-raised salmon is higher in omega-6 comes down to the feed the fish are given. The feed contains large amounts of corn and soy, which are both very high in omega-6. And this translates over to the salmon's meat when they eat this feed. Wild salmon, on the other hand, eat very little omega-6 and a lot of foods that contain and boost omega-3. Farmed salmon is also higher in fat, which isn't a bad thing in and of itself. You know that we love fat on this channel, but the problem is, is that the excess fat it contains is omega-6. Farmed salmon is also much lower in potassium, magnesium, and iron. Okay, so at this point you might be thinking, all right, it's a bit less nutritious, but there's other problems with farmed salmon as well. One of which is the level of toxins it contains. 
Farmed salmon is eight times higher in polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, which are highly toxic industrial compounds. Babies and children who are exposed to PCBs for prolonged periods of time suffer developmental and neurological problems, and these compounds are harmful to adults as well. The reason that farmed salmon are higher in these toxins comes down to their environment. It is well known that these fish farms are unsanitary and overcapacitated, whereas other types of animal agriculture, such as cattle, are more heavily regulated in terms of the treatment of the animal, there is very little regulation when it comes to fish. Wild caught salmon, on the other hand, has very low levels of PCBs. And to make matters worse, these overcapacitated tanks lead to the fish getting sick more frequently and spreading disease. And farmed salmon are often given a lot of antibiotics in an attempt to counter this. There have been instances where farmed fish who carry a disease have escaped and wiped out whole populations of wild fish. So I think the picture is pretty clear when it comes to which is healthier. Wild caught salmon by a long run. Now we're going to finish off by talking about how you can know if you're buying good quality salmon or not. But first, I am going to take a quick moment to tell you about one of the few places you can buy wild caught salmon in Australia who also happened to be today's sponsor. Butcher Crowd delivers 100% grass-fed beef and lamb, pasture-raised chicken and pork, and wild-caught salmon straight to your door every month. They have a wide range of boxes and products to choose from and offer free delivery Australia-wide. And wild-caught sockeye salmon is the newest addition to their range. As previously mentioned, all salmon that is from Australia is farmed, and the quality of farmed salmon simply does not compare. And it isn't just the nutritional profile that is superior, the taste is also far better as well. Trust me, add wild caught salmon to your next butcher crowd order and taste the difference for yourself. It can be hard to ensure quality when you are shopping at the supermarket. With butcher crowd, you can be confident knowing that the animals were raised ethically and fed their natural diet, not only when it comes to the salmon, but with their beef, lamb, chicken, and pork as well. Butcher Crowd is a monthly subscription service, however you can also buy one-time boxes and if you do have the subscription, you can pause it at any time. So if you're going on vacation, no worries, you can skip a month and pick right back up when you're home. If you want to check them out, you can head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash butcher crowd and make sure to use code Kate15 at checkout to save 15% off your first order. Thank you again to Butcher Crowd for sponsoring this video. How to ensure quality. Now, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to know if you are eating wild caught or farmed salmon. I know in Australia, a lot of the salmon is labeled Atlantic salmon. And this might lead you to believe that the salmon comes from the Atlantic Ocean, but this isn't the case. Atlantic salmon is the breed of salmon, and there are actually very few Atlantic salmon left in the wild. So if you are buying and consuming something that is labeled Atlantic salmon, <laughs> it can almost be guaranteed that it is farm raised. Now, some people will say that you can tell the quality based on the color of the salmon, and this is true, but it's also not. Farmed salmon would actually be gray if they weren't given supplements to give them that pink color. And of course, they are given these supplements because gray salmon is extremely unappealing. Different salmon breeds can also vary in color. Sockeye, for example, is more of a bright reddish orange, and pink salmon is, well, more pink. In general though, farmed salmon is light and more pink than wild caught. If the fish is wild caught, it will most likely say so on the package or on the menu if you are eating out. Wild caught is a selling point, so if it doesn't say wild caught on the menu, it's probably farmed. And as we already mentioned, if the salmon you're buying says it's Australian salmon, you might think you're doing a good thing, supporting local, buying within Australia, but when it comes to salmon, if it says it's Australian, it's definitely farmed. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Moral of the story is that wild caught salmon is superior, but that does not mean that I am totally against farmed salmon. If you're eating salmon often, then yes, you definitely should be buying wild caught, but once in a while, farmed salmon isn't gonna kill you. 
Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you go out of your way to buy wild caught salmon or not, especially if you're in Australia. I'm very curious. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And if you are in Australia, make sure to check out Butcher Crowd to have ethical and sustainable meat delivered straight to your door. I will put the link in the description box down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on the benefits of chicken liver, which you can check out right here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my keto diet and carnivore diet coaching programs, you can find those below. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.